So after changing all those gear teeth that is placed in there, so it's, see that how it's supposed to be. It can go this way, but then it should hold that and not that when it turns that way. So this could be the problem in your washing machine. Uh, if you have a problem with this agitator, don't get rid of it right away. It's something you can experiment. And I have some videos you can find. I can see how it was kind of explained a little bit. But there's a lot of video, tutorial video that we'll see on the YouTube. So uh, the idea is, uh, if you have a problem with this, the problem could be those four teeth. Kind of, uh, There. So yeah, again, the, the new one you can buy them for three dollars and six cents. The whole four pieces you can replace them. Now we get the new one. And the next thing we can do is we're gonna have to put this cover back on. And then this thing here. So when the machine spin, it should be free, but then when it times to ag agitate, it should hold in place. So, just like your sprocket and your bicycle. So, anyway, not a very clear video, but the point is um, you can do your experiment and then you can simple fix sometimes that everyone, everybody can do it. The parts are very cheap. $3. Thanks for watching.